If you want to see how I came up with this look, then stick around. Hi there, it's Hélène with another video. I am so pleased to bring you another, I guess not tutorial, just, just me showing a few products that I'm putting on my face that were part of my three-part Valentine's Day recommendations. So first off, I just want to offer what is on my face right now. I am wearing the Saint-Tropez, which is a gloss by Anastasia Beverly Hills, and it has a really neat iridescence. Now, if you have any dryness on your lips, this will show it right away, but the nice thing is that you can easily identify it and get the little bits of dry skin that you have off your lips and just thought I would mention that because that's what I had to do this morning. I've been wearing so many different kinds of lipstick over last week <laughs> that my my lips need a break which is really why I chose a gloss for this video but it's a beautiful gloss. I, I hope you agree. As far as what else is on my face already as a base because you can see that I'm wearing some stuff. I'll go quickly over the big hitters but anything else that you want to know is on my face is going to be right in the description box below so that you can see it all. All right. I am wearing as a base on my eye I am wearing the Smashbox Matte Exposure Palette. It is my pen that palette for this year of 2019. I am also wearing the Be A Light palette by Becca, and I've used pretty much, well, basically all these three colors. And also the um, Smashbox, you can see the highlight I'm wearing, the Smashbox Rose Mantic highlighter that I featured in part three of my Valentine's Day series. So all I have left are the eyes, basically. So I would like to show you what it is that I'll be using today. I chose, it was, it was tough. I was going between the chocolate bar and the Just Peachy palette, and I did land on this one today. I am planning on using this one for sure, um, and probably another uh, crease shade I think I'm going to use uh, Just Ripe. Ooh, this is a tough pick. I'll just do a few swatches here. Okay, I'm going to use probably a mixture of Peach Tea and Peach Cobbler along with Just Ripe, which is here. So these two up here and this one. I may use one of the lighter shades as well for brow bone, but that's what I'm going to do. And if you're curious about the colors that I have right now on my eye from the Smashbox Matte Exposure, it's vanilla all over and grounded in the crease and outer lid. Very, very basic neutral colors. All right, and it really doesn't matter which base you're using. I was just wanting to set my eye. I went somewhere this morning and I wanted to have a little bit of a more than naked eye. And I think that went well. Now, why am I choosing these colors in the Just Peachy palette? It is because I want to also use this <laughs> Moon Dust. I have it upside down every time. And this is one of the Moon Dust, Liquid Moon Dust, I think is what it's called. Yeah, Liquid Moon Dust eyeshadow. I would like to use that on the lid. So I think that's going to be a nice pairing. So let's get right into it. So I did a few swatches of the Just Peachy so I could get a feel for what I'm going to start off with. I'm going to go with my big fluffy brush and I'm going to go into Peach Tea first off. I've been having a lot of fun playing with the Valentine's Day makeup recommendations. Who gets to do like seven Valentine's Day looks in a year? So that's been a lot of fun. I'm only at two or three, but still, maybe there's some more coming. As long as I'm early enough for Valentine's Day so that you can actually have a chance to uh, try these out or getting, get inspired to do something different in your own collection. Playtime is so much fun when you just put a little bit of time aside and you try something on your eye that you've never done before it can open up a whole new category of eye looks for you. So it's so fantastic. And on top of it, whatever somebody's showing you on camera, 
it doesn't mean it's going to fit your eye shape. So sometimes you have to play around. And the nice thing is we have two eyes. <laughs> so you can do the same colors different ways on both eyes and see which one, which techniques, which methods, which um, positioning of the eyeshadow application works better on your eye and figure out what's most flattering for you or not necessarily flattering, but what is most like the look you're looking for. So yeah. All right. So I've got uh, peach tea. This is a very easy color to apply for me because it's close to my eye color. And I'm going to go next for the peach cobbler. And I think I'm going to put it in my upper crease, uh, not too far down because just right, the deeper color is the one that I really want to use in my crease. So I'm going to go peach cobbler next. Still relatively high up there. Okay, I like that. I think I'm going to just work on the one eye like I did last video and finish the other eye and then so on because I think it's just taking too much time. So this was very, very quick. I like these big fluffy brushes when you don't need a ton of precision. So that's kind of nice. Ooh, that was a lot. I got a lot of fallout in here. I don't know if you can see it. Ooh, that's nasty. And I wonder if it's just that I had swatches on my finger. Okay, I didn't quite take care of the situation, but that's just going to have to do for now. My nose is itchy. Okay. So we have um, the second layer of color. I'm going to go to a smaller crease brush because I think I need a bit more precision now. We're going to go into just peachy right here. Uh, pardon me. Just right. And just peachy is the name of the palette, not the color. I have a little fuzz on my brush. Take care of that. Oh, powder on my nose is tickling me. Okay. All right. So I've got the powder on my brush and I'm going to go into the crease. I didn't take too much to begin with. You can always add more. Shield wiper motions, a little swirling. Yeah, I get. A, I'm getting a lot of fallout in uh, here for some reason. I'll clean that up in a little bit. Okay, I like that. There's there's a more intensity here, and I'm going to bring that intensity down into the um, under the lower lash line. So I'll do that right now. I'm going to go with my angled brush first to bring it uh, with less precision by going back into Peach Cobbler. Uh, this one. The colors are so different on camera, at least in my viewfinder. Okay, so I'm just going to bring that down. And I'm going to use my big brush to just diffuse a little bit this color here because it's a little bit intense, I think. All right, and going back, this one, just tying it in. I want a little bit more right here. Okay, and then closer to the lash line, I'm going to use my smudger brush, looks like this, um, and bring the deeper color, which is just ripe right up to the lower lash line. Okay, I like this look so far. It's relatively deep, but still pretty wearable daytime look. So you could definitely go with a look like this for daytime office and then we're going to um, bump it up a notch with the moon dust liquid shadow um, but I think I'm going to do the other eye and then show you the moon dust liquid shadow so let me just get the other eye done and then we'll go to the good stuff
Okay, both eyes are done right now. I uh, ended up also using peach butter on the brow bone on both sides. So I think we are done with this palette so far. So this is the Moon Dust color that I'm going to use. It's called Solstice. It's a very pretty color. It goes really well with the shadows that I have on my eye right now. So I'm going to uh, go right in. The Moon Dust applicator is very precise, which I showed in that uh, part three of the Valentine's Day videos. And so it makes it easier to apply. Now I do have mascara already on, which will make it more tricky than not having mascara, but the nice thing about the Moon Dust um, liquid eyeshadow is it is a nice way to go from morning or daytime to nighttime. So we should be able to apply it with mascara already on our eye. So let's just see how it goes. I'll do one eye on camera and then I will do the other eye off camera. I just want to make sure that I have my lash line done. So that is the really tricky part. Now let's go up a little bit higher. There we go. It's going to go a little bit wider. I think I'm going to do a wing today. I didn't do a wing last time. Hello, Silhouette. My dog came for a visit. Just checking out what I'm doing. And she's having a lie down. That's good. Okay, so here is the one side. I'm going to do the best to replicate um, on the other side, I think it's even. Okay, there we go. Going to go on the other side, do the same thing, and I will be back to do liner and lashes. Okay, so I have put on the Moon Dust Shadow in Solstice on both eyes, and I think we're ready to do uh, various kinds of liner and put another coat on the mass of the mascara on and uh, We should be close to a completed look so for liner I am going to go with the Ciate fierce flicks. I Don't do liner on camera very often. So the struggle will be real. We'll see how it goes I may or may not be able to finish it on camera just because I need my two hands and all that good stuff So we'll see how it goes Okay, there is one eye done so that you can see. I'm going to do the other one off camera because it's really hard to do kneading both hands. I kind of sorted it okay, but I want some more precision, so I will be right back. Okay, I finished the other eye and have put a second coat of mascara, and I think that the um, Moon Dust Solstice is looking very shiny and bright. I'm going to look for a lower liner that goes with the look that we have on today. And I think it's turning out more kind of orangey burgundy than uh, was initially what was going on. 
Okay, I think I've made my pick. I'm going to go for perversion for the upper lash line. I'm going to go with mushroom for the lower waterline, and I'm going to go with demolition for the lower lash line. So essentially, a black, a taupe, and a chocolatey brown. So let's get that done. Okay, so that is perversion done. Going to go with mushroom next. Oh, got a little perversion on my lower lash line here. Okay, good, let's go. So I don't press, I don't, I don't uh, tug at my lower lid, I just press down and it just exposes the water line here. That's all I have to do. I'm hoping this silvery taupe from Mushroom helps to reflect the um, moon dust shadow. Just kind of pick up the same color. And now finally, demolition is the last little bit. Again, it doesn't have to be these liners. Uh, mushroom is a silvery taupe. Demolition is kind of a chocolatey brown. I'm just gonna do a little close up here for myself to see. I think that looks all right. Brush away a little bit of the stuff we don't want. Now the only thing I'm seeing with this look now is that the lip really doesn't go with it. I, I thought that, um, which one was it? I think it, it, Saint Tropez would have gone better with this one, but I ended up using this one, which is just more of an earthy color of red. So I think I'm going to switch my lip color. I love Saint Tropez, it just, I don't think it goes, well, it does, but not perfectly. So I want to go and change my lip color to this one, which is Amulet uh, Liquid Lipstick from Urban Decay. And it's going to go really well with Moon Dust. So we're going to swap that out. I won't do that on camera. I will be right back. Okay, I am back finally. Um, I had more work than I bargained for when I got off camera and I realized my two wings were totally off. That's the thing about doing makeup on camera. It is really hard to get things even because you're you're not in your usual setup. You don't get to see your face as easily as you would in a, a mirror conventionally. So yeah, I redid my wings a little bit. They're still more like cousins than twins, but they're they're better um, because I wanted to give you a better view of the look and uh, and I had to redo my eyeshadow. Anyway, it was a lot. It was a, it was a mess. And this is Amulet, and I think it fits better with the eye look, but Saint-Tropez was not bad. It was just, I knew this one would go better, and um, and I think that there are a lot of eyeshadow recommendations I made that would go very well with this one. So it's um, more in the fuchsia, dusty rose, and uh, kind of peachy gold would go really well with this one. Anyway, I'm quite happy except for the wings. I'm quite happy with how it turned out. I think it's a very nice kind of glam um, look for evening, and I think that you saw it wasn't too, too hard to, except for the winged liner, but again, that's because of the YouTube video. Um, if you see some folks doing winged liner on YouTube, just be kind. It is a lot harder to do than in real life. But I think you can see how you can change a look from daytime appropriate, uh, browns, burgundies into nighttime by adding the moon dust, liquid moon dust in Solstice by Urban Decay. So there you go. Uh, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this additional try on of recommendations that I made during my, well, in my Valentine's videos. And, uh, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. But for now, take care. Thank you.